Look how nice the weather is. We actually have sun in England, which is really weird. We haven't had any sun at all really this summer, but it's finally arrived. It's about bloody time. But anyway, this is an exciting video. I've wanted to make this one for a couple of weeks now. There's a fly. Go away, fly. As a thank you to all for, for helping the channel grow this much, I wanted to do a giveaway and give back to you guys as a thank you. Now, this competition is only for the UK folks, unfortunately, because I already have the stuff I'm going to be posting it out. It's difficult to post something of this size and with batteries to over anywhere in the world, so it is just for UK only. But don't be put out if you're from anywhere else, because in the future, I will do loads more competitions which I can post anywhere in the world. Let's cut to the chase. The prize bundle is going to contain three things. The first is this. This is a Boya lav microphone. About 15 quid you can pick one up for. So if you're actually looking for a cheap lav microphone, I can highly recommend one of these. I'll give you a demonstration of it later in the video. Dirt cheap, they work on cameras and smartphones. A little switch just here. You can switch it between cameras and smartphones. It's battery operated, so you don't need any plug-in power. Really quite good. I used to use this when I originally created the channel. So I highly recommend that. That's the first thing I'm gonna be included. It won't be this one. Too much wire. It won't be It won't be that actual one, it'll be a brand new one, box, and it comes with a dead cat as well. So winner. The second thing to be included is this. This is a Yongwo YN300 Air LED light. Really nice, versatile light. Really quite bright as well. It's orange, so it does tungsten, and it does white. Again, if you're looking to pick one up yourself, they're available for 35 quid on Amazon. They don't usually come with a battery or a charger, but for this competition, I'm including the light with the little stand. It'll be brand new, it's boxed, comes with a battery and a charger. And last but not least, this. This is a Xeon Smooth Q. It's a mobile phone gimbal. Shove your phone in here, turn it on, it'll keep your phone completely level and balanced. It also comes with this teeny little tripod, so you can put it down anywhere you like. Now, this one isn't brand new, this is used, this is my own one. Got a few scuffs on it, but it's not too bad. But yeah, I do recommend these, they're great little things. So I used this initially before I bought any other gimbals, but I don't have a massive need for it now, so I wanna give it to someone else that's gonna make use for it. So there you go, you'll get this, you get the microphone, and you get a light. Now why those three things, I hear you ask? Well. Someone decided to leave a bread roll out in the woods, so Rollo's had an unexpected treat. There you go, happy days for Rollo. Did you know, in 2018 alone, there were 1.56 billion smartphones sold around the world? And they estimate that roughly 35 to 40% of the entire world's population currently has access to a smartphone. Now in 2010, Samsung released the Galaxy S. Why is that important? Well, the Samsung Galaxy S was the first mobile phone that did full 1080p video recording. Now I, pretty much like everyone else on YouTube, upload at 1080p. Why? Because 1080p is a real nice balance between clarity and performance. But a hell of a lot of devices can record at 1080p these days, and you don't need to spend a whole ton of money on a PC to edit at 1080p. My point being, if you fall within that 35 to 40 percent of the world's population that has a smartphone and you purchased it after 2010, then you've probably got enough to get started on YouTube. And mobile phones are great, they really are a great starting point. But generally speaking, they fall down in three key areas in my mind. None of them have any sort of built in steady shock or anti vibration or whatever you want to call it. They don't have any built in gimbals. You can't get the steadiest of footage on a phone. They're also a bit of a pain to hold. No one likes holding their phone. It's much easier to grip something like a tripod or a gimbal. Audio quality. 
The audio quality is average at best. Out here, a phone probably wouldn't do too bad of a job, but in a small room where there's loads of echo, they start to sound really quite bad. And then third of all, because they've all got really small sensors, they'll really struggle in low light. As soon as the light goes down, you get lots of digital noise and it can start to look a little bit rubbish. Can you see where I'm going with this? And that's the goal of this competition, is to give someone who only has their mobile phone but really wants to start making some YouTube videos, is to give them all the tools so they can start making the videos they really want to make. Right, now we're back home. This is me recording on my phone, which is a Pixel 2 XL, using the front-facing camera. No microphone, I'm hand-holding it, and I'm in relatively crappy light because I've pulled the curtains too. And this is how it looks. Woohoo! Now it's not too bad, probably sounds a little bit echoey, and there's probably a bit of noise, digital noise, you can see all this fuzzy stuff around here. Let's give it a bit of an upgrade and see how it looks. Way. And this is me using the gimbal, the microphone, and the light. You don't even need anything fancy for the light. I've just put it on a shelf. I'm holding the camera by the gimbal, the microphone's in, job done. You can use this sort of setup, just the gimbal and the microphone when you're out and about for maybe a bit of vlogging. The cable is a little bit annoying, don't get me wrong. You have to wrap it around the gimbal so it doesn't go anywhere, but trust me, it works. The light does a really good job. Even in this dark room now, this looks pretty good. There should be very little noise going on, so immediately the video quality looks better, so you're not just limited to videoing outside or when you've got loads of light coming through a window. Quick tip, rule of thumb, put the light 45 degree to either side, and then 45 degrees up will get you pretty consistent results. You can see you've got shining down here, a little bit of shadowing, looks quite good. If I want less shadowing, I can have the light directly in front of me. And if I want even more, I can move the light further to that side. There you go. Guess mine the gimbal. I can walk around, get pretty smooth. Doesn't matter what I'm doing, I can walk about and it'll stay looking pretty good. So, how do you enter? Well, it's really simple. All I want you to do, head down to the comments below, tell me where in the UK you're from and why you want to win. That's it. Just give me a reason why you want to win and let me know what you would do with all this stuff. On the 12th of July 2019, I'll go through all the comments, I'll pick a bunch of my favourites, they'll be the finalists per se, and then one of those will be chosen at random. If you're not from the UK, again I apologise this one's not for you, but do stick around because there will be more competitions. If there's anything that particularly would make for a cool competition, let me know down below and I'll see what I can do. No guarantees, I can't send out any Lamborghinis or anything, but if you've got some ideas, I'm all ears. Thanks for watching folks. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Pop a comment below if you've got any other feedback and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye. Wee.